I'm Julia Buzatil Nishimura and today I'm showing you how I glaze my Christmas ham. This is a whole leg, so this is a small whole leg. It's about five kilos. So this is about enough for 12 to 15 people. And it's as simple as making sure firstly that you've got a really nice ham and you want a deep golden color on the rind. That's kind of how you tell it's been nicely smoked. Um, and it should have quite a good fat layer as well. What you need to do is make um, a cut um, around the shank bone just to release the rind from, from the fat. So I'm just gonna go in now and do that. So just not cutting in too deep. We're just going to make a cut like so. All right, and then the next job we need to do is we need to release the rind from the fat of the ham. And we simply take the knife, a sharp knife, and you just run it underneath the rind all the way around. So we're kind of creating a bit of air, which is gonna help us release that rind. So we go all the way around like this. Alrighty, perfect. Trying to leave as much fat on the ham as possible. So you can see where we've made the little cut, there's a little bit of fat coming across. But now we're just gonna really slowly lift up the rind. All right, so you wanna keep this piece of rind because that's gonna keep the ham nice and fresh when you're storing it in the fridge and you've got this beautiful fat layer on the ham. And now what we wanna do for presentation is we're going to make a crisscross in the top of the ham. You want a really sharp knife and you don't wanna to go too deep, just enough to cut through the top layer of the ham, of the fat. So we're just gonna go across the top. back in the other direction to make a diamond pattern. So I've got um, brown sugar, I've got some cumin seeds and cloves, maple syrup, some lime juice and some Dijon mustard. So we're just going to add it all into this really small pot. Sugar, maple syrup, I'm putting in the whole spices. They're just going to perfume the glaze really nicely. The mustard goes in. And the lime juice. Give it a bit of a stir. Oh, it smells really Christmassy. Uh, and I'm just gonna set it on the stove for a few minutes to thicken up, so over a medium heat, and then we'll be ready to come back and glaze our beautiful ham. Okay, so the glaze has thickened up a little bit and I've shifted the ham onto a baking tray. So I quite like to sit it on a rack um, and then I'll pour some water into the bottom when I put it in the oven to bake. Um, you can line the bottom with foil, um, takes kind of the mess out of it, but um, just some water on the bottom will keep it really um, easy to clean at the end and stops it from burning any of the sugars kind of dropping down into the pan. So all that we need to do now is glaze this beautiful ham. Um, you kind of want to use half of it now or a quarter even now. And then every, um, you know, 10 minutes, we're going to just pull it out slightly from the oven and give it another glaze until it's beautiful and golden. We're just going to glaze the top of this ham. All right, so that's all nice and glazed. And I'm gonna put it in a preheated oven at 180 and it should take around 35 minutes, but just keep an eye on it. You want it to be really nice and golden. Um, and then we're gonna let it cool down before we carve it. Okay, so our hand 
jam is ready to go. It smells incredible. Um, this one took about 45 minutes in the oven. Um, you just want to go until it's nice and golden. I quite like a little bit of that burnished um, edges. I think it looks really nice and it tastes really good too. Um, and I've let it cool down for about 20 minutes um, and now we are ready to carve it. So the first few bits are going to be quite fatty. Then as we go through and get larger slices, they're going to be beautiful. And there you have it, my really easy Christmas glaze ham with a uh, maple and mustard, Dijon mustard glaze. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a very safe and happy holidays. And um, enjoy.